Alhamdulillah, wa salatu wa salam wa rasulullah. Sometimes you got to watch for thieves. That little guy is coming over here, a little chipmunk. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us to do actions that please him. Habatifillah, as we said many times before we mentioned this, that the Salaf, the scholars, the classical scholars, beginning with the Sahaba radiallahu ta'ala anhum ijma'een, with tabi'een, with taba'a tabi'een, those first three generations, and those who follow them in righteousness until the day of judgment, have held something very important which we have to learn to recognize and strive to practice, and that is that they used to see and view righteous deeds as a result of knowledge. So that means knowledge and practice. Al-ilm wa amal. Al-ilm wa amal. So what this refers to, Ahabati fillah, or we find this, as the Salaf used to say, Al-amal thamarat al-ilm. Al-amal thamarat al-ilm. See if we can find something for this little creature here. That knowledge is the fruit of uh, that. That good deeds are the fruit of of knowledge. So it isn't just merely a, the case of compiling books and. Collecting knowledge, sitting. But rather, it's important for us to know and to realize that we have to practice that knowledge. That we seek knowledge, we gain knowledge in order to seek to draw nearer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So, acquiring knowledge, truly acquiring knowledge, requires that we have amal kaman that true knowledge ilm al nafi requires that you're actually practicing al amal al amal salih righteous deeds so we combine our knowledge with action with righteous actions imam bukhari rahimahullah ta'ala as he entitled in a in a chapter in his book in his sahih he entitled it Al Ilm Qabla Al Qawli Wa Amal. Al Ilm Qabla Al Qawli Wa Amal. Which means that knowledge precedes actions and statements. Why is this valuable for us? Why is it invaluable for us? The reason it is invaluable because this is a important qaida of Islam it's an important principle of Islam and that way you don't speak about Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala without knowledge which is a major major sin or you do not give fatwa a ruler's religious ruling or verdict without knowledge and that you don't attempt to practice things without some sort of knowledge, some sort of background, some sort of understanding. So al-ilm qabla al-qawli wa al-amal. Knowledge precedes statements and actions. If we were to take that on board in our practices, we would have fewer mistakes or less mistakes with regards to the many things that we fall into as Muslims 
if we concentrated our time and spin it acquiring knowledge seeking knowledge Islamic knowledge from the people of knowledge we would attain success in our practice in this life as well as the next so my encouragement is to myself and my brothers and sisters to gain al-manafia and practice that al-manafia by doing righteous deeds and avoiding evil may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive us of our many many sins wa sallallahu alayhi wa sallam ala nabiyyina muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam